Did you know that Adobe InDesign can extract font and color palette information for you directly from images. So I have been redesigning my website for the last, I don't know, forever. And I've been looking around at different photos on Pinterest or different websites, or sometimes I'll just get an email and I'll be like, wow, I really love that font and I like that color palette. What is it? And I can't really figure it out. I usually go to Photoshop, it takes a while. However, with just one tiny click, you can do that in a millisecond in Adobe InDesign. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every week. I was gonna say every day, but I've switched every week. Also, if you are new to Adobe InDesign or would like a refresher, I do have a free course called InDesign 101. You can sign up for that below and I will flip the screen and let's get started. First of all, it doesn't really matter what size your document is on Adobe InDesign because we're just gonna drop something in there and take it out and use it for later. So. All you're gonna do, I open mine up to just an eight and a half by 11 because that's my standard size for everything. And then I'm gonna drag and drop an image in here. You could do file place, either one works. Um, I'm just going to lay it down here. Again, it doesn't really matter because we're just taking information out of it. You're going to right click on that image and let me right click higher up so you can see it. Right click on that image and then you're going to go to extract from image. Now this is new, it was not here previously. And again, this really only works if you have the latest version of Adobe InDesign. So if you have an older version, I don't know what to tell you. I it might be there, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and extract the type because maybe I really like this font that they're using up here at the top. So it's gonna pull up this little uh, pop-up window and it's going to say place the selection around the text. So we would just want to figure out what this, it's not really a script, I'm gonna call it like a handwritten uh, font. And then once we have that highlighted, we're just gonna say find similar fonts. And it is going to do its magic and look around and it's gonna give you a few different options. I have relation to bold. I have relation bold, I have relation to regular. I kind of like the regular because it's not as thick. And just so you know, it is kind of a bummer. You can't down like save all of these at once to CC library. Um, you have to just go with one and then it'll let you do it. So we're just gonna go ahead, save to CC library and it's done. Now, how do you use it once you've saved it? So when we close this, we can go here to the type tool and I'm just gonna draw a box and I'm going to say, trying out my new fancy font. And I'm going to go ahead, highlight all of that, go here and I'm gonna look for relation, whoops, let me start a new line, relation. There it is, relation to, relation to bold, relation to regular. So I'm gonna try relation to regular, maybe I'll try that in a 50. And there is my fancy new color. Now let's say I also really like the colors that are on this page. So I'm just gonna go back to that selection tool. I'm gonna right click on that image again, and I'm gonna go over here to extract from image, and I'm gonna go to color themes. Now over here from color themes, it's gonna pop up that window again, and it's just going to give me a color palette. It's gonna give me five different colors. Now it didn't have a lot to choose from here, so it pulled that gray, the white, the blues, and then it pulled the yellow, because this is, um, this is dry bar and their brand color is yellow. I'm not really sure where it got the yellow. I didn't see a yellow on there. It must be hidden somewhere really tiny. So I feel pretty confident that this extraction tool works pretty well. Now over here at the top right, it will give you some variations on this. So let's say I really want something bright. It will brighten it up for me, right? And so this is just like we had before with this tool down here, which used to be, which used to take things from your page as well. Um, we have muted, we could do dark, uh, we could do, uh, didn't I just do dark? We could do deep, deep and dark. Uh, and then we could also do none. <laughs> and so we just go back to a standard and you can save this to the CC libraries again, and it's saved over inside of there uh, as one of your color palettes. So. It will usually pop up this CC library over on the right. If you don't see it, uh, if you go to, let me move this up. If you go to window and then you make sure that there's a check mark in front of CC library, you should see that. If I uncheck it, you can see it disappeared over here from the right. And then if I check it, it will just pop up. So anytime you're watching a tutorial, um, if someone has something on their 
screen and you're not really sure what it is inside of Adobe InDesign, just look here at the top at whatever it says, go to window, and most likely you do not have a check mark in front of whatever, you know, uh, little pop out window that they have open over here and you can just fix that really easy by putting a check in front of that. Now there was a third feature I didn't really go through, um, how to extract shapes. Uh, so it says from image extract shapes. Now here's the thing, I'm not really big into shapes, mostly because, and I say this all the time, sure you're like you're a broken record, Lisa, we all know you cannot draw. So I cannot draw. And because I cannot draw, um, it's really hard. There's not really a lot of value for me in taking shapes on this. Um, in fact, it looks like, uh, cause this image is like a white on white. It's really hard for it to see anything. Uh, so I'm not even sure if you could take an image out of this one. Um, convert it, smooth on save. So yeah, so that is a, another option again. And it looks like you can kind of just, um, erase anything that you don't want to see and then it will only extract whatever's left. So those are the new tools inside InDesign 2022. And again, this is mostly useful for images, right? So if you already have a document open um, over here, this eyedropper tool, if you right click on it, there is color theme tool. And I was able to just put color theme here and it would pull an image, um, the colors from there. Now, as far as fonts, it really didn't do that before. Um, and also just so you know, it just makes it, I think, a little easier that for each object, it has it also over here, extract from image, and you have color themes there. But you still, again, this still works just like before. You can use the color theme tool on the left as well. All right, I hope that was helpful. I know it's been really helpful to me because I have been looking at so many different websites, trying to figure out like what fonts I want, what colors, and, or sometimes, again, like I said, sometimes I just see something on Pinterest and then I'll download the image and upload it here to InDesign. So just wanted to share that with you as a helpful tool. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day. Remember, my free course, InDesign 101, is available below and I'll talk to you later.